Hi, welcome back to Google Guru. Today I just want to take you through some of the basics um, with respect to searching your Gmail inbox. Now there's two basic ways to search in Gmail. You can just type into this bar or you can click this drop down right here to do more advanced searches. Let's say I just wanted to find something about our weekly meeting. Okay, so I just type in weekly meeting can quickly get a set of results that match that text. But sometimes I don't know exactly what text to search for, so I want to search for messages from a particular contact. So you just type from, colon, and then uh, your, your contacts will auto-populate that as you start to type their email addresses. So now I have all my messages from Sir Doxalot. Um, if you came from the Outlook world, one thing you're probably used to doing is sorting uh, by company or by contact. This is sort of one way to do it if you know the contact you're looking for. You can also search by domain. So if I wanted to do from guruvideos.com, so this is basically all internal messages, I can just do that and that'll bring up messages from anyone that were from anyone or sent to anyone at the domain guruvideos.com. In the same sense, you can do two. If you're searching for a message that has an attachment, just type has, and then Google will bring up a list of things the message could potentially have, photos, documents, videos, calendar event. You can do subject. If you know that you're searching for an email with a particular subject line. And then, you know, let's say the subject was marketing, but I didn't want to look at emails that talk about reports. So I, I do a hyphen, say minus report. So that's gonna give me anything where the word marketing is in the subject line, but the word reports is not in the body of the email at all. Okay, there we go. So those are some of the basic things you can do from the bar. Advanced search sort of spells out how you can do a lot of those same things, you know, from, to, subject, has the words, doesn't have, the biggest advantage of this advanced search is that it's very easy to search within particular labels via this drop-down menu. By default, you're going to be searching your entire mailbox, which includes messages that were archived. But maybe you wanted to search your trash or your spam, um, which are not included in that default search. Or you wanted to search a particular label. Let's say I have an email in my marketing label, and I know it was within about one month of... April 1st of this year. Okay, so there's a lot of emails here. And it has to do with Mavenlink, which is a product that we use. Okay, there we go. Using this feature, it's pretty easy to kind of hone in on what you're looking for, and it's really good for doing particular date ranges because, as you can see, it's, it's a little more complicated to put that in the search bar itself. But, you know, all this is doing is making it easier for you to create advanced searches in the search bar. Everything has to go into the search bar at some point. Hope that was helpful, and um, we got plenty more videos coming your way. Thanks.